I've been saying for a long time now, in China, legacy automakers, their brand image is perceived as being negative when it comes to electric cars. And I think this is pretty good proof of that. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Honda, they have just invented a new brand in China. Now, why would they do this if the Honda brand, which does actually hold some credit in other countries, not so much in China, why would they do this if uh, Honda did have um, kudos? You know, if, if people did perceive Honda as being a premium brand in China, it wouldn't make sense to come and make this new brand. Just label your brand, label your EVs as Honda vehicles. But they've tried that and it didn't work. So Honda has, well, they've just revealed a new electric car brand to apparently take on BYD. In an attempt to regain relevance, says CNF Post in the world's largest EV market, um, the Japanese automaker have created a brand called Yi. I think it's called Yi anyway, it's just Y-E. Are they gonna sell this outside of China? Yes, not as Yi, I don't think, but um, yeah, I mean, of course they will. They have no, no other choice if they do it this year or five years time from now, it doesn't really matter. The point is, yeah, they've got obviously going to do it. They don't have any other choice to stay alive, to stay in existence. How on earth else will they possibly compete with China? Eventually, they'll just have to bite the bullet. Nissan's already begun doing it. But yeah, Honda will obviously just rebadge these vehicles as Yi's in China. And then the ones that they ship out from China to the rest of the world will be called Hondas, I would assume. The Japanese automotive giant today unveiled the new EV brand in China. It's the third brand in the country to target the EV market after EN and Link C. So this is actually the third brand Honda have created in China to try and crack the Chinese car market. Now, when I say crack it, Honda did have a, a massive percentage of the Chinese car market over the last five years, but yeah, it's steadily declining. And obviously EV disruption is the, the biggest reason for that. The new Yi brand will target the needs of Chinese consumers and will build cars based on the all electric architecture W, called W, said Honda. Honda actually plans to launch six new vehicles under this brand by 2027. And they'll be uh, apparently being EV only in China. So Honda is saying only EVs in China by 2035. I can't really see anyone in China buying an internal combustion powered Honda in 2030, especially considering EVs are well, in many cases, already cheaper than internal combustion. That doesn't make much sense to me. But anyway, Honda unveiled three new models, the Yi GT, which will be mass produced 2025, the Yi P7 and the Yi S7. They'll all go on sale at the end of this year, apparently. The Yi P7 will be built by, of course, not Honda themselves, by GAC. And GAC owned the brand called Aon. Aon is one of the fastest growing EV brands in the world. They were selling around 50,000 cars per year in the last, I think, five or six months of last year, which is a lot more EVs than what Honda was selling. So this brand is apparently a joint venture between Honda and GAC. However, another one of these models, the Yi models, will be built by Dongfeng. So Yi vehicles will be built by model manufacturers, none of them really by Honda, by Honda joint ventures, but really by Dongfeng and by GAC, really kind of muddies the waters a little bit here you don't when you go and buy a honda or a yi in china you don't really know what car you're going to get is it a dongfeng vehicle is it a gac vehicle is it something else is it a japanese vehicle no anyway japanese brands such as honda have of course and nissan and or all of the mitsubishi's left china toyota they've all lost market share significantly over the last few years and they're trying to just figure out ways to gain back market share and not, not lose their businesses in China because that's where billions of dollars traditionally are made every year from Japanese automakers. But yeah, I mean, that, that honeypot is clearly drying up. Thanks for watching.